I am so excited to be here this morning with Margaret Reynolds, who's not only an amazing woman, but she's an amazing businesswoman. Um, and she's going to talk to you this morning about her journey in her business and how a book really made a huge impact in her business. So tell us, Margaret, about what you do at first, and then we'll get into your book and how it really impacted your business. Okay. Well, the very short bio is I spent 20 years working in corporate America before I launched my own business to help businesses in general figure out their longer term growth trajectories. And so many stall out early. My, my space is really working in the area of helping companies get unstuck and return to a growth path. So I've been doing that since about 2001. And I had, I love to write. And I love to posture new ideas. And I've developed quite a few tools and techniques over the years. And they've done well. So I thought maybe I could help others by compiling all of that into a book and saying, you know, I'm not going to meet every single person, but I can put my book out there and hopefully have people find some solutions for the challenges that they face in day-to-day -day business life. The book is titled Reignite, mm. How Everyday Companies Spark Next Stage Growth. Wow. Okay. And it, so it sounds like, you know, we started playing the name dropping game. You've got some really big name clients that you've helped over the period of time in business. That would be fair to say. <laughs> I'm not going to drop any names. Nevertheless, we'll I, you know, and here's the thing: I don't discriminate. I, I have found that the work that I do translates across industries, and I have a ball. Mm -hmm. You know, I may have to adapt to vernacular, but it works philosophically and theoretically and practically as well. And the other thing I've learned is it works in almost any size of business. Yeah. Once you've reached a point where you have layers of management, and every company does once you get past a certain level then having that orchestrated against a common set of goals and expectations for uh, what your business wants to accomplish so that everyone can act in an aligned and coordinated way is really important. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, you're kind of a big deal, and I think that's really amazing. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about sort of what your life looked like pre-book, and then how that book really impacted your business, helped you to scale and grow, get your name out there. What was the impact of this book in your business life? Well, I think it did two things. I think the first thing it did is it just expanded my reach. As I said before, I could touch people that I hadn't been able to touch before, and People found the book, people liked the book. I got a lot of uh, good, positive feedback um, about the concepts. So that was really helpful. It also allowed me to touch more because people want you to speak when you've written a book. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you've got a book. Well, you probably can have it talk to us about something important. Yes. Even though I probably could have done that before the book, but you know, the book, the book is a symbol that you have some content. And so it's it's a it's a glorified calling card in a way. So it extends the reach. It also provided, as mentioned, I gave feedback. So what that means is I now know what parts of my repertoire resonate with a lot of businesses um, the best, the fastest, the easiest. And so that's something that I can use in marketing uh, going forward. And then the third thing is just, I think I told you this earlier, I'm so much smarter because yeah. I could write a book. Not really. But the point <laughs> is, people think you are, right? right? Because, oh, if she wrote a book, she must know, you know, a lot of things and, and be brave enough and confident enough to put it in writing, which is true. Right. And so it just, even though you knew this before, the fact that it's in a book, it just makes people think about you differently. I can't explain it. It's just a phenomenon that works. <laughs> right. And so if you think about even, are you able to quantify that in some way? Like how you scaled or like, was there a revenue difference like pre-book and post-book that was really significant for you? Well, I would say that a couple of things. One, I would say my speaking business is, I released it in 2015. And in the wake of that, my speaking business tripled. Wow. Um, in addition to fees, every speaking engagement, they bought the book. So there's another revenue stream. And because speaking for me is a business development opportunity um, that I get paid to do, that's where I find more clients. So I have my business has really gone from being sort of regionally centered. It never was. I did have the outlier that, you know, from a different market. But now I have more of a national business. I travel coast to coast and work with clients all over the country. Wow. 
Wow. So this book really made a difference yes. for you. That is amazing. Yes. I highly recommend it. I fought it for years. Yeah. <laughs> too much work, too much effort. Who am I to tell people, you know, anything important? And what if it stinks? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your writing process a little bit. If you were like kind of a little scared to go into it, well, how did that feel? It, I was never really scared in the sense that I felt like I could write. Mm -hmm. I think the, the scared came from, well, anyone want to read what I write? Mm -hmm. So I've been writing blogs for years um, because you're supposed to and because I enjoy writing. Mm -hmm. And I always think someone wants to hear what I have to say. <laughs> yeah, of so um, what I did is I basically decided, for, the hardest thing I think is deciding what angle, what's the, what's the real message of the book. And I rewrote my book about seven times because I changed my title that many times. That was the worst part for me is coming up with a title. Every time I'd get a title I fell in love with, I'd put it out there to my peeps and they'd go, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So I'd have to find a new title and then I would have to tweak the book to go with the title. Right. Right. And so tell us again the name of your book. And I assume it's available on Amazon and Absolutely. all those yep. so that we can pick up your book and take a look at the work that you did. Love that. The book is called Reignite, How Everyday Companies Spark Next Stage Growth. And I'm Margaret Reynolds, so yes. it's by me. <laughs> Wonderful. So we've been working together for about three days yes. now. And so you've gotten to know me a little bit, what my style is and how I work. So if you think about the people out there who are thinking about writing an expert book um, and what you know about me, why do you think I might be the right fit for somebody out there who's thinking about an expert book? I think you have to figure out what your goals are with your book first, yeah. right? There's a lot of reasons to write a book. And, you know, there's everything from pure ego to business development, which is really my goal. I was never someone who was destined to say, my goal is to be a New York Times bestseller. To me, that's a nice side benefit if it happens, but I really wanted to get a message out. Mm -hmm. And I think if that's the goal, that you really have a message, that you think the world could be a better place somehow, and that you can help it get there, and that's what your business model is about, a book is a powerful way to accelerate your ability to do that. As I said before, you can accelerate your reach, you elevate your visibility and credibility, and you have another revenue stream. So in all those ways, it just builds your business in a fantastic way. So if you're gonna build your business, why not do it right? Why not do it from the get-go with the most efficiency, effectiveness, and with some expertise behind you that you don't have on your own? Because if you're a content specialist, you're not probably a book writing specialist. <laughs> so you know, do what you would advise your clients to do. Go get the right quality of help to make sure that your effort is going to have the results you're looking for. That's where you come in, because from what I've observed from the process that she uses, it is it holds you to a high standard. And while that may be intimidating, you'll be so glad later that you have no regrets, bad experiences, or bad outcomes by doing it right. Thank you for that, yeah, Margaret, and thank you so much for sharing your experience and your expertise with the audience here in this Facebook group. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this, and uh, we'll be sure to check out your book um, and learn from that as well, both uh, the content and how you did it and how you put your book together. So thank you so much for that. Thanks, Annalisa. It's fun.